Aboriginal education has always attempted to try and solve the gap between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal students. So the report that the Prime Minister has launched today comes as no surprise that we've uh, had some successes but we've got a long way to go. Numeracy and literacy rates are, are still low for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students. We need to increase that. Absenteeism is high. Poor health of Aboriginal children all contribute to poor educational outcomes that we need to change. So educators, universities, schools, parents, governments all have a duty of responsibility to overturn these appalling statistics. Well, the universities have a fundamental role in increasing outcomes at, at the classroom level in schools. We can graduate more Aboriginal teachers, we can increase more Indigenous content into our professional degrees like social work, in health, in, in education, in uh, all of those services, uh, professional services that uh, affect and deal with Aboriginal peoples. We need nurses and doctors to understand Aboriginal health. And so universities are the way, is, is the site by which we grow these professions. And in, they have a profound impact on um, Indigenous educational outcomes at school. So universities are the sites by which we train professionals to help close the gap in school classrooms. And so uh, this university is committed, the University of Adelaide is committed to Indigenous education and to assisting in closing the gap. Can the gap be closed? I'm always an optimist, a glass half full man. I'm, I, don't, uh, I don't have the privilege of being a prisoner of despair. I am of the belief that closing the gap is achievable, but it won't be achieved in uh, one or two uh, years. This is uh, foolhardy, what we've got to be mindful, that it's going to take an intergenerational commitment from everybody. And I think that with this commitment, with hard slog, with evidence-based approaches, that we'll make a commitment and we'll, we will wear down the issues of closing the gap. What the Prime Minister's report tells us is that there are successes that we can celebrate and we need to celebrate them because closing the gap is such a long and tiring process. And these celebrations are, we have increased uh, Indigenous numeracy and literacy rates, not to the level that we expect them to be. We have grown Indigenous teachers, but not to the rates that we expect them to be. So the report tells us a whole series of things that we need to know and monitor and evaluate constantly in order to get to the greater goal of solving some of the issues of closing the gap. Um, a problem with closing the gap has many solutions. And so a report in one particular year, um, after several reports, still indicate that we've got a long way to go. Um, but those small steps on uh, attendance rates, retention rates and uh, success and outcome rates um, as small as they are, we need to celebrate them for the purpose of all of the good work that people have done in the past and are yet to do in the future. I think that some of the strategies in closing the gap are really honourable. They point to the direction on the horizon that we need to go to, numeracy and literacy, attendance rates, good year 12 outcomes to trans transit to universities. These are really important aspects. but. Education of Aboriginal people must also go beyond just educating Aboriginal school students into English numeracy and literacy. There are challenges that Aboriginal communities are going to face within the next 10 years. Climate change, feeding the world, water sources, the rise of the sea level and the fall of the fresh water. All of these aspects will affect Indigenous communities and Indigenous communities need to be ready. One of the key aspects to getting ready for these, what I call these wicked problems, is to make sure that Indigenous peoples are educated in the school system of these problems and how to solve them. Schooling and universities are crucial for Aboriginal peoples to face these challenges head on and meet them with confidence for solutions for Aboriginal communities. Mm -hmm.